All right, guys. So we're making a uh, pahokuti today, and uh, we're gonna need a couple ingredients. We're gonna need uh, lemongrass. You got a tamarind soup base. Got a dried shrimp. Uh, Nika, how say mine? Thank you. Uh, this is a uh, it's a dried fish. Uh, pretty sure most of you uh, Cambodian folks know what that is. You have a chicken uh, granulated chicken flavor soup base mix. You have uh, any garlic? Yeah, this garlic. You have kaffir lime leaf, galinga. Uh, this is a chili paste that we made. You also have uh, bahot, uh, turmeric powder. We have two coconuts, uh, salt, sugar. We have a. You can say mine. Tropical. This is a kind of like an eggplant, uh, the small, the small version, and we also have a pork belly that we cut up into uh, small pieces. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on our paste, and we have lemongrass in there uh, with about a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, and my mom's gonna go ahead and uh, grind it all down. And uh, she's also going to add in the garlic later, so I'm going to go ahead and let my mom do it again. Alright guys, so now our paste is done. This is our lemongrass with turmeric powder and also the garlic. So you can see the consistency of that. We also took the dried fish from earlier and put it in the motor. Crush it up so you can see if that is, how that is. And uh, also, we're going to go ahead and uh, grind up the, the shrimp. The dry shrimp, we soaked it in water for about 20 30 minutes or so. You don't really need to soak it that long. And we're gonna go ahead and grind that up and put it into another plate. Alright, right, so now we're ready to bring everything into the stove. Uh, so we got a pot here. We're gonna go ahead and scoop in. Uh, I need to pluck. I mean, like mine. So that's about maybe two cups or so of coconut milk. And we're going to bring that into a uh, simmer. Alright guys, so in another little uh, pan, we're going to roast up the, the small Thai, thai egg pans. They're, they're like Thai egg pans, but they're just smaller. Alright guys, so now you can see that the coconut milk is uh, condensed. Uh, if you do it like the way you did, you can see it looked like there was like water on the bottom, but now it's just kind of like pure white. So we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit more. Okay. Okay. All right, so we got about a tablespoon of sugar. So you got a little bit less, less than a tablespoon of salt. But so if you don't want to use a MSG, you can use that uh, chicken soup base mix, about a tablespoon or so. And this uh, chili paste mix, um, our paste. Um, you want to go ahead and add in about two tablespoons. It gives it a nice red color. And I'll uh, show you in the description yeah. how to uh, make that. So check the description. Now, mm -hmm. this is the tamarind soup base mix that my mom's about to add. But. So, uh, um, if you're Cambodian, you know what that means, but if you don't know any Cambodian, I'm going to try to translate that for you, which I think means that if you don't add it, it's going to be a little bit bland. So you want to go ahead and add it. Um, for some reason, that and the coconut milk uh, goes well together. From what she told me earlier. All right. So now you want to go ahead and add in the pahok. Right. 
đã trầy cái hào trầy phần má bởi nhẹ khai nhằm vào hộp bàn So that's about 2 tablespoons or so Mình dừng thơm hộp tí dừng đặt vào hộp mà kêu ấy mình đi Bài Dừng dừng cần đặt vào hộp tí rồi bây giờ chưa chết dừng đặt trầy phần má rồi Bài Bài này Ok Đấy dừng cô Cô Thầy ạ, cơm này cũng kênh nữa, bởi kênh vừa mình thôi thì Bà Cũng kênh dương dương trọng bụng như tựa bà rồi So my mom said earlier that you want to use a motor, you don't want to use a blender for all of this And there's a reason why it just works better, flavors come out better and so forth And uh, if you're here, you can actually smell it. it smells uh, real good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Let it simmer a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and add in the pork belly uh, that my mom chopped up. You can add in uh, ground pork if you wanted to. Uh, but mom... But you... Uh, ແລະເມັກໆໄມໂຄຣໄຊໄດ້ຈັ່ງມັນມາເປີອາຄັງກາງໂດຍຈັ່ງອາໄດ້ກິນໂດຍນໍໄດ້ກິນໂອຍັງ
the rest of the coconut milk from earlier. Okay. Bye. Alright guys, so uh, all the ingredients are in there and the last thing we need to add in, in is the kaffir lime leaf. So we're going to go ahead and add some of that in or all of it. Mà đã tỏ hay So that's the last ingredient that you need And you're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat And let it sit And I'll give it a taste test Alright guys, so the pahokati is done And uh, give it a little taste test uh, I have some vegetables here on the side uh, We have uh, green bean we have cucumber, we have a uh, Thai eggplant, and some fresh chilies. Uh, we also have some celery. Uh, get whatever you can. Uh, go ahead and taste it with the uh, green bean. I really like it with the Thai plant. So I'm gonna get some of that. Get some of the pork belly. So that's my mom's pahokati. It's real good. She made it before in the past, but she really uh, outdone herself this time. So hope you guys give it a try um, and enjoy. Take it easy, guys.